Hey, Tim DeStastio here, Psychrometric Saturday. Last time we introduced the topic of moisture in the air. And if we think about the psychrometric chart like a container of water, the higher our water level is in our container, the more moisture is in it. Same thing in our chart, the higher we are in this chart, the more moisture is in the air. Going back to what we talked about a few weeks ago with dry bulb temperature, the farther to the right that we are in the chart, the more heat is in the air. And then the higher up in the chart, the more moisture is in the air. And that's where we get these two properties here. We've got our dry bulb temperature, and then we have our moisture. We talked about two different ways of measuring and calculating moisture on the psychrometric chart, the left side of the chart, the right side of the chart. We're gonna concentrate on dew point for the next little bit because I think that is really the terms that you need to be thinking about humidity are in terms of dew point. So we're gonna plot our very first point on the psychrometric chart because anytime you know two properties of the air, such as dry bulb temperature and dew point or another property, then where those two lines intersect, that is your operating point. So let's say that we are measuring 75 degree dry bulb temperature and 55 degrees of dew point. Here is where our operating point would be. And as you can tell, that is smack dab in the middle of the chart. And that is really our target comfort level when we're designing a system. We want to be able to maintain 75 degree dry bulb temperature in the summertime and somewhere around a 55 degree dew point uh, when we're talking about absolute humidity. So that's as far as we're gonna go. We've plotted our first point on the psychrometric chart. We're gonna plot a few more points next time, but as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.